So I was about to start tackling the oil pan and I realized I still have these uh, exhaust donuts here that need to come off. This one just fell off when I removed the manifold. And uh, I tried a couple ways of getting this one off and I think I came up with one. Uh, so this is how it went down. Hopefully it'll, it'll work again because I've got four more to go. just tapping kind of lightly just to see if I can get it to spin and kind of push pushing it up at the same time there we go all right Give it up. Not really going for beautification on this build but I think we can do a little bit better than this let's see yeah there we go that looks a little bit better now I'm wondering is uh do we get crazy do we go on a full side quest and paint these things probably all right let's uh Let's do that. <laughs> if we have paint. If we have paint, we will paint it. That's a deal. All right. The side quest continues because I actually found some paint. This is really nice stuff, actually. Uh, 415, high temp stuff. Actually, this is super old, though, so if it works at all, it's amazing. But since we have it and it's like half full, let's give it a shot. Let's see. Oh yeah! It's aluminum now! Ooh. I'm alright. Alright, well we'll just give it a couple light coats. 
And we'll see how that goes. We've also got the uh, manifold hold downs and uh, I threw those into the uh, sandblaster as well. Those came out okay. Um, there are a couple though that are struggling just a little bit. This one's got a little hole in it and uh, the end of this one is basically gonzo. So I might uh, try to fix that. Just uh, weld a little bit more material on there and grind it back. It's probably be okay. But for right now, let's just paint these things up. That way we can at least uh, put these uh, shiny new manifolds on and uh, look like we did stuff. Uh, for these guys, they're using uh, caliper paint because I got some. See how that holds up. Come on, don't run out yet. Oh, it's already struggling. Should be fine. It's all fine. All right, well, we're trying to wait for those uh, manifolds to dry. Let's go ahead and see if we can't get this uh, oil pan sealed up. And then we'd be fully done with the bottom. Which would be awesome. So let's see if we can do that. A lot of these are very loose. I think I'm gonna put some uh, medium thread sealant or something, Loctite, something on these things because it seems like these are backing themselves out. I don't know. All right, let's see. Uh, it's not so bad. be an easy clean. Oh, look at that. Easy clean. No problem. All right, I'm going to get this all cleaned up and then uh, we'll uh, get ready to put it back down. We've got it all cleaned up now. So I'm going to put on the gasket and finally get it back on the car. Do a quick test fit. Seems like there's like it's gonna line up. Okay. A little bit of extra here. Now I'm gonna put a little RTV on it this time. Just cause. But I don't need it all up in there. Just enough.
Yeah, this is going to take some finesse. <laughs> and this thing rattles a bunch, so I'm going to put a little bit of thread locker on these. Hopefully it'll keep them from rattling out. I don't know if that's the right thing to do, but here I am doing it. Hopefully I have enough thread locker because there's like a thousand bolts here. We gotta torque these things down. It says 85 to 105 inch pounds. So I think I'm gonna start out at 50 and work my way up. This is not the right size. <laughs> All right, now we're on. down kind of half snug and then we'll start the torquing all right now let's see if this thing actually works I don't ever really trust these inch pounds I don't know why Seem like that much, you know? Maybe that's the secret. Maybe I've been over torquing it my whole life. Alright, so that's at 50. Let's go to let's go to 90. That leaves us a little room there. Alright, we'll go to 95. 95 it is. some bling. So excited about that. It's like brand new. Hopefully I can remember which one goes where. Right? Yeah, this has to go here. 
right. Whoa, that, that looks cool. Let's see. Yeah, that looks better. I don't have all of the hold downs ready, just uh, the few that I painted, but I got four and that's enough. I think we'll go two each for now. And then when we get those other ones fixed or replaced, whichever comes first, we'll put those on then. And I believe these are supposed to be torqued to 22 to 27 foot pounds. But I'm not going to do that yet. I'm just going to put them in place and we'll get them closer once we got them all ready to go. But they can they can be there. It's not going to hurt anything. Ah. Oh. I just noticed something horrible. This oil pan is going to have to come off because I have to take this bell housing off to, to fix the rear or front main seal. What is this? This is the front main seal. And this oil pan is screwed into the bell housing. Yep, it is. It's going to have to come off. So whatever we just did, we're going to have to do it again. Damn it. That's all right, not so bad. I only glued the top to the pan, so no muss, no fuss. Everything's all right. We're gonna be okay. All right, let's get these locked down. All right, I think we're set. Let's take a look. Well, we made a lot of progress in this episode. We sealed everything we could, but right now I'm just waiting for parts. Uh, I don't have the, uh, the washer that's missing for the rear main seal. Um, until I get that, I can't seal it. Flip this over, get it back on the table so I can fix the, the, the front main seal. Uh, and finally, get back to the uh, transmission and the diff, get that sealed up and reconnected, and finally get back in the car. But we have made some progress, we painted some stuff, it's looking a little bit better. Um, yeah, and I really, I guess there's nothing else I have to do except that. So, that's a lot of sanding, sandblasting, and prepping because I really do want to paint this stuff. So at least when we put it all back together, it'll look like I did something. So I guess that's what I'll do. I'll probably save you guys that pain, but we're still waiting for parts. Uh, so I think it's going to call for this episode. Thank you all very much for watching. Uh, enjoy, comment, like, subscribe, all that stuff. Uh, really appreciate all the comments and everything. And uh, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.